Hey, what's going on guys? It's Adam from Spiritus Systems. And today I'm gonna to talk to you about one of our products, the multi-platform radio chassis Mark V. So out there on the market right now, there are a ton of different comm systems. The military has been gobbling up radios uh, like a bunch of hungry hippos. So we have all sorts of shapes, sizes, heights, battery types, antennas, all of these different things. And they create uh, kind of a nightmare for the communicators in the military. Uh, so as a young RTO myself, I used to get very frustrated because the equipment I was issued was not adequate for some of the new radios and the new technology that we were receiving. Uh, so I kind of wanted to solve that problem. And I think we have with this new radio pouch. Uh, it is a Mark V, so this is the fifth iteration of this pouch, uh, which might be kind of weird because you've probably never seen it on our, on our website because we, uh, we haven't sold them on the website ever. We, uh, we sell them directly to units or to uh, radio companies, manufacturers, but now we're gonna sell it to everyone. So the basis of the whole design is this uh, chassis piece. And this is a two column Molly piece. It's much like any radio pouch that you've ever used. You should attach it to your cummerbund or to your, to your back panel using a uh, Molly. It also is belt mountable. So we wanted this to be able, if you needed to wear your radio on your belt and conceal it, uh, you can do that as well. Uh, on the front side here, you'll see that it has a little bit of Molly here on the bottom, and then it has two overstrap pass-throughs so that you can put the, the overstrap in there as well. And this is kind of the crux of the design. It's, uh, it's really what makes it different. So right here, I have a battery cup, which is pretty uh, standard for most radio pouches. That's how the radio is actually you know, held inside of the pouch. And you can see it here on this, uh, on this MPU-5. Uh, it's resting inside of that battery cup right there. So for reference, this battery cup is a Molly cup in and of itself. And it marries to the front of the pouch here. And the magic here is that you can actually adjust the height of this battery cup. So you can see I have it kind of tucked up close there. And then if I move it down, I could have it really low if I have a really tall radio, or maybe you have some kind of battery adapter that's going in between your battery uh, to give you remote power or to power something else. Uh, this will give you the depth that you need to, to plant that radio low or high based on the model. The overstrap, it's just a strap and you can route it underneath in here and you can put, you can select two different sizes. And why that's important is, you know, one for the height of the radio. If your radio is shorter, you can move that strap down lower or if it's taller, and you need to move it higher, you can do that. But also most radios have a handheld mode so that you can you know, push the talk on the side of the radio and you can talk through the, the mic on, that's built into the, the faceplate. Um, that creates a challenge for straps because if you strap over some of those buttons, you might be inadvertently keying them. Uh, so that, you know, that strap being, you, know, you being able to move that strap up and down, right? If we have it here, we avoid some buttons, or if we have it here, we avoid some buttons. Uh, so that strap moves up and down, which you know enables you to not key your, uh, your buttons inadvertently. The battery cup actually uh, opens up, and it kind of looks like a diaper if you look at it. Uh, but the battery cup opens up, and the reason why it's this three-piece split is so that you can you know, change the battery on the fly. You can have a buddy kind of undo your twist lock or you can uh, accommodate thicker radios, right? So, or thinner radios, more importantly. So you can really tighten this up if you have a thin radio, which is, you know, this guy right here is a 3D rendering or a 3D model of the new Talus Spear radio. Uh, it's very, very skinny. It's about half of the size of a PRC-148 or the embitter. So you can see we can really, uh, ratchet down on that battery and make the battery cup work for us instead of against us, instead of having a really loose uh, radio pouch. So you can see right here, you know, we've tightened down on that thing and it accommodates it very well. We need to swap batteries. We can just open it up, swap it out, keeping our overstrap, uh, keeping our overstrap on there. So you can see this MPU-5 again in here uh, one of the last retention features that I kind of wanted to outline was the overstrap itself uh, that keeps the, the radio in place. And this is, this is the main security on the pouch, kind of the last line of defense against the radio coming outside of this pouch. You have the battery cup, 
you have this overstrap and then you have your final overstrap that keeps this radio seated. And the reason why that's there is, I mean, sure, you could run it just like this with just this strap if you wanted to. And that may be okay for a lot of situations, but if you're doing any kind of jumping or diving, you're going to want the radio to be seated firmly in there and uh, secured in a way that it cannot come out. If we look at the backside, this strap is secured using a piece of cordage that goes through two little holes on the backside here, and it's just secured with an overhand knot. So you can adjust the length of this strap. You can make it really short, you can make it really long. Again, if you need to accommodate uh, something large, you can with just by adjusting that. One of my favorite features of this pouch is the fact that it is pretty radio agnostic. Um, you can see here the MPU-5 features a lot of really advanced technology. And one of those uh, pieces of technology is this 22 pen side connector. That is, uh, it's actually really impressive. It's IP68, this thing is not gonna leak. You can take them off, put them on. It does not matter. Uh, the power will kind of shut off on these when you turn them, when you take the, the pens out. So uh, super easy to use, super easy to manipulate. Also gives you the option to have three of them on here, uh, which is pretty incredible. So this overstrap will accommodate all of your cabling, your side connectors. It doesn't matter if you have an MPU-5, if you have a 163, uh, whatever kind of weird you know, modules that they're gonna put on the side of these, you're gonna be able to accommodate those no matter what. So that's one of my, my favorite features about this uh, radio pouch. So there you have it. That's the MPRC Mark V. Uh, you can see that it's, it's highly adaptable. It's gonna fit any radio that is in inventory in the military right now, any handheld. And uh, it's probably gonna fit most of the ones coming out in the near future. So if you, if you get one, there's a good chance that it's gonna work with you know, the next thing that you get. Uh, and it's not just gonna be some, some dinky issued pouch that, that doesn't accommodate what you need. So I appreciate your time. I also would like to hear from you guys in the comments, what radios are you, are you using? Uh, what do you like about them? What do you think you're gonna get issued? Uh, and does it come with a pouch that you actually like? So I appreciate your time and thanks for watching.